and when you enter, there's the arches of the uh, the roof of the of the cathedral, and you're looking up, and you may immediately feel humbled or presence. And so, the design of this space was based off that. There's the compression of the fun house. When you walk through, there's the sign of Ghost Train and Hellmouth, and then the Spook Show is the altar, and it's it's the lines of a cathedral. Yeah, it was a Halloween party. It came out of Halloween parties at my house. You know, it, it just kept getting bigger. And and then it built a circus, but I wasn't taking it seriously. I was using icons that I liked from other things. And it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't setting out to do this. And I kept picturing it as this abandoned theme park. It was empty. And when people showed up, it changed everything. And I was like, wow, I, I didn't really imagine the people here. Ken had been a friend for years. and. Uh, so he bought up this land which had a couple of empty lots in the center and it was basically six six lots and Over the years. It's almost been to me. It's been a little magical in the way the uh, which I know will sound weird with the explanation of Because of the drug wars right behind us all the houses blew up they burnt down they uh, and they opened up and as we grew the land would open up it's, we built a fair. We've watched the fairgrounds for years just kind of slowly fall apart and then they finally closed it down because they didn't really explore anything, they didn't grow, it was poorly run and um, and now there's nothing there. They use it as a parking lot for uh, overflow for car dealerships so and uh, we a lot of people we've told over time just for fun the, that this was the original fairgrounds and that they they moved over there got huge and forgot about this spot so people would believe us so. <laughs> I'm I'm an illustrator but uh, I my heart was in a lot of other things and so I was always uh, studying things like architecture sculpture and and uh, graphic design um, uh, a, a lot of different avenues of art that or creative outlets that uh, never really gelled until this happened. Everything is is weathered and aged, and it's it's left to rot. It's it's definitely a part of the look, and uh, I always loved weathering things, even as a kid. But I think it was also like I was saying, exploring Detroit as a kid and seeing a lot of the beauty and decay.